Growing up, I did a lot of stupid things. Maybe not as crazy as you, but I was wild. You see, every farmhouse and barn has a story. It has a past. What's this house story, you might ask? This house lived a story of guilt, depression, angst, laughter, betrayal, death. This house story is a story of life. What does your house say? Welcome home. I thought her name was Annette. I don't think that ever works, Jackson. Well, you guys aren't doing any better. Hey, guys, I got one. Earl, stop playing with the pigs. Get in the truck. Uh, come on, Travis. Let's take these two here while uh, Earl catches the other two. I don't want to uh, waste money. Sorry, Earl. Looks like you got to walk home unless uh, you have money for a cab. What? Do you think Earl will find his way home? I'm sure he knows this place better than you. I know my way around here. It's easy when you follow the roads. Are you saying I don't know my way around? It's not a bank, Jack. No, but this place will make money. I just need Earl to put me in charge. What's this obsession with this money? My father passed away when I was five and left me a thousand bucks. Money that grandfather spent raising me. But do you think that every day I wake up and wish I could give it back? That I would give it back in one second so I could spend one more day with him? But I can't. And that is my life and I deal with it. Why does he have to dump his shit on me? What is he so afraid of? At least I'm honest with myself. Hey, Travis, looks like the little kid found his way home. Hey, Earl, what took you so long? Small strides. Takes a while with uh, the stroller and all. <laughs> Jackson, what the hell? Why did you make me walk? Oh, calm down. Don't get your panties in a bunch. I'm tired of you treating me like a kid. I'm an adult. An itty-bitty tiny clothing. You are a damn kid, Earl. Because I'm the youngest. No, it's because you're brainless. Jack? You think you're so smart, don't you? I know I'm smarter than you. If you're so smart, then where's Hunter? He has to be around here somewhere. Go look for him. I think you were a little rough on him. Nah, he needs to man up. He's more of a man than you think he is. He'll never be a man in my eyes. You're never going to let it go, are you? Why should I? He did nothing. 
He was born. That's enough. Damn, man. Time to bury the hatchet. In his chest, maybe? That's cold. He doesn't belong. Jackson, I believe you Hunter's are. Hunter's not here. I don't know where he is. He talked to us this morning about going bear hunting. Damn it, Travis. We got to go. Grab some extra rounds. Come on, Travis. Let's go. You got him? Let's roll. I love the smell of gunpowder in the morning. You know that's not the line, right? Smells like victory. War is hell. Hey! Guys! Nice to see you. Well... He found a bear. Only one. Hey, Hunter. What type of socks do bears wear? What? None. They go barefooted. What is that about? Needed to get your attention. Travis, there was a bear in front of me. Why would you need to get my attention? I didn't want to be the bearer of bad news. Bear is dead. Thank you. What the hell were you thinking? I came up here to hunt bear. By yourself? Yep. And without ammo. Your dumbass came out here to bear country and you forgot ammo. Did you at least bring a knife? Uh, nope. I forgot that too. Dumbass. It could have been killed. Was a bear a woman? No. Where is this going? If death is a woman. It's never coming for me. Oh, God. Made a lot of women mad. You okay? Yeah. I'm good now. Need to change your drawers? I might have peed a little, but I'm good. Uh, you need a diaper. Let's just pick this meat up and get out of here. I'm gonna go grab some water. I'll go grab the cooler. So where was he? Uh, we found him near the lake, messing around with one of them out-of-towners. Really? Was she good looking? She was a real teddy bear. I'm gonna go lie down. Yeah, she really wore you out. Don't forget to change your drawers. Yeah, don't forget to wipe the sand off of you. Here's a cooler. What are you doing with the cooler? We saw a couple of deer on the way back. Yeah, I always miss everything. Okay. I'll let you put meat in the cooler then. Okay. I go for a walk. I'll be on a while. You good? I'll be after a while. What's up with him? Never you mind, Earl. It's a family thing. Whatever. Fine, I'll put meat in the cooler. Do you ever feel like you're spending too much time looking for the right tool? Have you ever just wanted to buy an animal for no reason whatsoever? Then come on down to Annette's General Store. Annette's General Store is filled with items that you just can't live without. From simple buckets and bags of feed to high-tech gizmos that tell whether or not your eggs are fertile. Annette's General Store. If you have money, you are bound to buy useless items here. And that is not responsible for any lost animals once purchased. If you are not fast, don't buy them. Are you there, Mom? Can you say a prayer for the pretender? Started out so young and strong, only to surrender. I find it kind of funny. Almost sad. Dreams of which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. I was never a hero. 
Sure, I've got my medals. I've got trophies. But I was never a hero. I was always the guy hiding behind a tree or nowhere to be found. Just kept my mouth shut and did my job. No one's ever going to come up to me and say, Can I take a picture with you? You're my hero. I'm a broken down man. I don't even know if you can call me a man. To be or not to be. Isn't that the question? I remember one night with Becky. She comes to me and says in the kitchen, Sink is leaking. My response, Call a plumber. I know I could have fixed it, but I didn't want to. I didn't want a man up then or now. How do you describe war? It's scary when you hold the head of your best friend in your lap and he's taking his last breath. Do you know how that feels? Who the hell am I talking to? Get it together, Trav. I'm losing it. Maybe I've already lost it. Maybe I never had it. No, I had it once. I was on top of the world. I was indestructible. I was a lean, mean, fighting machine. Was. What am I now? I'm a nobody. I have no purpose, no life, no love. For me, damn it, Travis, snap out of it. Time to man up and be the man mom wanted you to be. Be like. Oh, are we going to do anything today other than get the pigs? I really haven't done much today except walk. Are you sure that you did that well enough? Maybe you need more practice with that. What do you want to do, Earl? I think we should build a bigger coop. I think that's a good idea. What do you think? Money grows on trees? No, but the wood does. We'll need that to build it. Now you're catching on, Earl. You guys go ahead. I'll get Travis. Your turn to cook tonight. I'm a guest here. I'm not cooking my own meal, let alone yours. I guess you'll go hungry then tonight. You'll do whatever I say to do. You're not the boss of me here. No, I'm not. Uh, I would have fired your ass long ago. Nice. I like chickens. <laughs> I like chicks. Nice one. Where's uh, Jackson? We're looking for you. I'll start making food, I guess. Maybe he'll come back soon. Couldn't find Travis, guys. I looked for him everywhere. Oh, I don't know where he could be. Oh, right there you are. I knew where I was the whole time. I was going to give you a ride back. I knew how your walks can be. I didn't go far. I made dinner. Chicken? Again? Tomorrow, I swear, I'm killing a pig. It'll be a while before they get plump. Right, but I'm not eating chicken tomorrow. I can make eggs. Why are you such a moron? Trying to be like you. You'll never be me. I know. I'll be better. See the constellations. They remind me that this life cannot be lost forever. I watch my generation. It's over.